Hello, everyone. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from Gold Squadron Flight Club. If you're not familiar with what Flight Club is, we have list building challenges for our X Wing players in our community. Anybody can be a part of the Flight Club. It's absolutely free. Just type exclamation point Flight Club and, uh, and Join us. Be a part of our Discord and, and part of the club. We basically just call on people say, hey, you, it's your turn. Here's your challenge. See you on Saturday. So, super excited for this matchup. We have Scum versus Rebels. We'll break down the list in a minute, but before I go too far, my co-host for this round is... William Scott. All right, William Scott. Are, are, you, are you ready for your, for your commentating um, debut on Gold Squadron Podcast? Are you ready? I am ready. Just like these guys, these guys look like they're getting into it pretty quick. Awesome. So let's go ahead and break down these lists. All right. Uh, I'm going to start with the scum list for Alex. Uh, starting with Boba Fett, he's got Fearless, Maul attached to that. Uh, Contraband Cybernetics, Hull Upgrade, and Slave One. Pretty much half of those are stapled on them all the time. Uh, we got Nomlum with Auto Blasters, uh, Informant, and Dengar. Uh, super fun combos going on there. And then Leighton Ashera with auto blast or marksmanship and auto blasters. Moving over to Mitchell and the Rebellion. We've got Lando in the Falcon with K2SO, Nine Num, an engine upgrade and the Falcon title, or the Millennium Falcon title. Uh, the Nora in the Y Wing with expert handling, Ion Cannon Turret, a hull upgrade, and Thane Kyrell hanging out there with the S Foils. All right. For those of you who like to play Choose Your Champion, it is time. The time is nigh. You got how many? You got seven minutes on the clock. Plenty of time. Um, I will shut it down early if we have a quick engagement. Now, here's my question to you, my friend. Who do you think has the advantage? Who is your champion? Choose, William. Ooh. Uh, I think it's going to be Scum with Alex here. Uh, Namlum and Dengar such a such a fun combination like you're gonna shoot at me but i'm gonna i'm gonna just throw one back at you anyway uh and then boba fett's always just big wants to get around people i think he's gonna end up having the ultimate say at the end of this game absolutely now i need to check to see who had the initiative choice yeah, I believe Mitchell is Mitchell's at 200, so that would mean that Alex would pass the initiative. So we have that marked correctly on our side. He is the first player, and uh, yeah, like I, I don't, I don't doubt that with Boba being able to move second and use that slave one title again. We went up in points in the last point update, but uh, not enough to not use it. So definitely going to see some use there. But Lando, you got to watch out. Lando can definitely do his own shenanigans. Yeah, especially with uh, zero to three giving out extra actions for everybody, especially if they're blue maneuvers with nine numb. That's all of them. Yeah, <laughs> every so, I mean, all of them. Super maneuvers. awesome coordinated. Yeah, every all of them are blue. <laughs> Drew Swaggy, thank you so much for subscribing with Prime, and I believe, if I'm not correct, uh, if I'm correct, Drew, this is your first time subbing to the channel. Thank you so much. Welcome to the fam. Welcome to Gold Squadron. All right, so here we go. We got a talent roll from Thane. That is a uh, that is a aggressive move, waiting for Boba to possibly go into the corner. And Boba says, "No, no, no, thank you." <laughs> Gonna get it today. Yeah, that was a was a super aggressive move from Thane, but it, it sets up the edge there. Instead of being in a box, it pushes pushes everything back to the middle. <laughs> Drew Swaggy busting out the GSP Dion faces. Love it. Love it. <laughs> All right, so we see that we did get the target lock from Boba Fett. Alex leaning more on the re-rolls than, uh, and because he has Maul, of course, for the focus modifications. And Thane gets the first shot from downtown. Only one. That's expected value there. Three for Boba Fett. This is unobstructed at the time and is fine. One out the box, but We're that's fine. just a bonus die. Boba Fett will have a shot back. Here we go. One, two, three. 
All focuses. You spend the target lock on all of them. That's what the math says. Do it on all of them. And got two. Nets Plus you the average hit. expected result. And he's going to get one through. Always feels bad when you see the three, the three focus come up, and you're like, "Well, I took the target lock." Yep. <laughs> yeah, you know the the argument, <clears throat> the argument for dice cam, please. They they were rolling in the dice cam. Did was the dice? Did the dice cam not come up for you guys? I I swear, I swear, I just saw it. Don't lie to me. Pretty, yeah, I was to say, I'm pretty sure it's up. These Boragar, guys. Boragar, don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare. <laughs> Confuse me. <laughs> I had it. All right. I'm done panicking. I have some people saying they saw the dice. Maybe it was a reminder because sometimes I turn it off. <laughs> You're right. You're right. That That is definitely a thing that happens. People like me leave dice in the box. All the time. Boragar, maybe... They did take them out rather quickly, so maybe that's that's where... Uh, that's where we got the confusion. But it did happen. Just don't blink, and we should be good, fam. These guys are moving quick with everything. Mm-hmm. I mean, today... I, I wasn't joking. These are all ace-level players for all three matchups today. Um, and... Like, not even joking. They don't just, they're just not self, -pro they're not only self proclaimed aces. These are both uh, top cut worlds players in the uh, 2019 Worlds Championship. So, um, really, really great players here. <laughs> Good to get that kind of stuff on, on table. Watch somebody else getting that strategy down, seeing how something else gets played. So, maybe you could pick up on things you can do better, learn a little bit. Yep. Okay, interesting choice here. Uh, Alex choosing to do the focus rotate gets that arc to the front. Uh, that does force Namlam to be stressed. But the reason there, of course, is Namlam being an initiative one when being shot, he usually auto turns his turret to um, to the enemy that shot him. But by turning it to the front, it makes it so that Alex uh, doesn't have to... Like, Alex takes away the decision from Mitchell whether or not Namlan gets a shot. Of course, unless somebody out of the arc shoots him. Yep. Takes it away. I puts him in a stress, but should be easy to clear next turn. Isofane asking, how did you manage to get so many top-level players today? I asked. <laughs> I asked. I was like, hey, fam. Aces. Where you at? And they're like, let's go. That's, that's, that's an exact... Come. That's right. That's an exact um, uh, transcription of our conversation, by the way. It was just like that. <laughs> yeah, yep. I don't know they, if everybody sees sees those notifications for when you start requesting people for Flight Club, but it is some. You've got to be on the sticks waiting for that to come through because it is quick. Now they're um, they're like, I'm in. I'll take it. All right, and it looks like did is the betting still open for one minute? Last minute, last minute. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let it expire on its own, and then I'll, I'll I will give you the results of the betting. Forty seconds left. Some extra betting time. That's right. If you don't know how to, exclamation point bet, then you type one or two in the chat. One would be for Alex, two for Mitchell. It's always that way in the channel, left and right. And uh, which we actually might be changing that here in a little bit to maybe like R and B or L and R. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible for you guys. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Ten seconds left. Get your bets in. Oh, Lando just outside for the target lock. Ooh, that was close. Take it on the obstacle because you got to lock something. Nora banking in. By the way, Nora's ability, absolutely great. She loves being at range one, getting those free evades. Free results are good results. And Smikey oh, squeaks in a bet right before the bot turns it off. Takes a focus. Nora, of course, has that ion cannon turret right now. It's 
out of range and not in play, but something that could come up uh, versus Boba in the later game. Boba Fett also attending the target lock. Looks like this is just going to be a setup turn. <laughs> Ladrian. You know what, Ladrian? For you, fam, I'm opening the betting. Get it in now. Your sad trumpet noise is sold for me. Quick, before the engagement happens. Quickly. Quickly, Ladrian. This is your chance. Panic. Grab the phone. Do it now. Do it now. As soon as those dice oh, roll, no, I got to close it. it. Oh, I got to close it. Oh, Ladrian, no. more sad trumpet noises for you. You didn't get it. Unless no damage happens. All right, no damage happened. Here, you get another chance. <laughs> <laughs> So anybody who's joining us today, the list building challenges for um, for today's event were hyperspace, but with a twist. You could only bring one copy of any ship chassis, only one. So uh, only one, uh, you know, RC2 A wing, only one fire spray, you know, so on and so forth. You guys are smart. You guys figured it out. And the oh, I did make an exception for one faction though, and that faction was first order. So they actually can do two of any of a, of a single chassis, and they did. They uh, they brought two tie foes, which again that's going to be for our third game, which we have one more after this. So make sure you guys are sticking around. Here we go, shot from Layton from downtown, and hit crit there. Ouch! Maybe hey, looks like they're floating back around between. Pew Pew's Nothing more evades. So Nora more did evades. end up taking a shield in that engagement. So we'll go ahead and take that off. Nora prefers to live at range one. Thane also lost a shield in that engagement. For the last one. Fast Walk Zero asking, ever thought about mixed faction list for Fly Club? So you want to, my complete and honest answer is I would as lo, our um our Overlay system cannot support mixed factions. Yasby also does not support mixed factions. And I'm okay with that. There's some kind of crazy stuff that can happen with that. And for some people, that is one step too far in crazies, in crazy town. Um, so that's one of the reasons I'd be hesitant to do it. But uh, but yeah, really the biggest thing is that we don't we just don't have the we don't have the tech to do it. So, sad face. There would be no overlay, and if there's no overlay, people are like, what's going on? Uh, yeah, I'd much rather not. Yeah. It'd be, <laughs> it'd be a crazy fun time, but just stuff all over the place. Yep. And um, Subhead, uh, who, uh, who was the next one? Somebody asked about, what about quick builds? I don't. I actually don't even, I don't like the quick builds. Don't like the idea. Um, uh, I like, no, no, let me, let me be more specific. I like the concept of the quick builds the problem with the quick builds is that they are not balanced not the way they should be <laughs> what about random quick builds mm. Mm, maybe be like a jank tank open but for gold squadron just that's <laughs> Randomly roll everybody a list, and here you go. This there is you what go. You play. <laughs> Do what you want, man. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I was I was the one who rolled all those lists. That was me. My, <laughs> yeah. My, so put, let's not let us not forget. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you put in a lot of work for that. That's right. Leighton quickly pushing across the board, probably getting a bump here. I think the one the one forward fits from the Y wing a little bit later, though. I mean, again, Nora, while Nora wouldn't have any uh, offensive modification, having Layton at range zero, if the bump does happen, does give that extra evade. Mm -hmm. Free result. Ooh, Crazy Vulcan. I like that. Have a pile of spawn discs and have players draw. Oh, oh <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. That Crazy Vulcan. Would you I get it? Putting that in the box. <laughs> Would you get a mulligan? Like, you draw one, you spawn it, you're like, ooh, nope, you only get one? Or, like, you, the first one you draw, that's what you get? That's it. It's, it's like getting ooh. a random Pokemon to start off your journey. Here you go. Ooh. Good luck. I don't know what's in this ball anymore. It's yours. 
<laughs> All right, here we go. We got Lando moving in. Does a three straight. That is a blue. Let's get an extra action. Did take the calculate from K2SO. That's why the calculate is uh, hanging around. And not sure what we're waiting for. Maybe just a little, little bit of thinking here. All right, so we had Lando give the action to Thane. Thane took a target lock on to Layton, sitting at range two there. And Boba Fett doing the talent roll, trying to get back into the fight here soon. That is one of the risks you take with uh, leading away with Boba in the early game. Is if the uh, if the opponent doesn't bite, you could end up leaving some of your ships out to dry, which we can see uh, Nam Lam and Layton take some uh, take some pain here. Tom Mega Silver asking in the chat. Tom is saying, "Would could you at least know the faction?" Mm, no. Yep. <laughs> I could color code them, but no. That's the, that. I, I I want people to be a little a, a little a little little scared. Oh, here we go. Who needs fully modified yeah. shots when Who you just roll hit hit mods? crit? Oh, Ooh. okay. Heroic? Mm. Nope. <laughs> hit hit crit. Ooh. And that's a fuel leak at the end, sitting at one hole now for Leighton Shara. Yeah, that hurts. A few leak is not going to really matter except for uh, drawing extra cards. Lando trying to finish it. Two hits. Nah, and got safe, the evades. Safe for now. Bonus evade. After successfully evading the shot. It did miss. Nora. Has a range two shot. Going to be going at Nam Lam. Thinking about doing ion cannon or? I think the ion cannon turret is pointed to the left, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you're right. It is. All right. Want to remind you guys, by the way, you can use that Twitch Prime sub every 30 days. It doesn't auto-renew, so please remember to click that button every 30 days. Give us some of Jeff Bezos' money. That's the owner of Amazon, if you don't know his name. And uh, it's part of your Amazon Prime subscription if you have it. So thank you to everybody who has done that. You guys are awesome. You guys keep this rolling. Call it Rando Calrissian. <laughs> All right, so did he choose not to shoot? I think he declined shooting okay. there. That's probably Dengar. because of uh, of the Dengar trigger. Dengar. Two blanks going into Lando. Lando's fine with that. All right, here we go. Nom Lam. Going to Lando again. This one is obstructed, but nothing. So the choice from Nora not to fire and Nom Lam, pretty strong there. Avoided taking damage. Uh, that is, um, that Dengar can trigger there, the, the gunner card. We'll go ahead and read that for you. So it says, after you defend, if the attacker is in your firing arc, you may spend one charge. If you do, roll an attack die, unless the attacker chooses to remove one green token, which of course Nora didn't have one. On a hit or crit, the attacker suffers one damage. So there's a potential 50% chance of, uh, of dealing a damage there. Nora just being like, you know what? I get the free evade anyway. I probably wouldn't take damage from Nom Lom if he shoots me but could get through my defensive modifiers by, by using a card, essentially. So pretty smart choice there. I like that. 
very consistent damage from Gengar there too at fifty percent. Taking a free one. All right, so Travi Bear having an interesting question here. She says, "So my fifth brother was facing. This is a a, a judge question. I'll be your judge. Let's see, and I'll make it public. Let's find out. So my fifth brother was facing the edge of the board with a ship between him and the edge, but not right ahead." While measuring range, I took a quick look at the full arc. While doing that, the TO had a big freak out saying I wasn't allowed. And I was like, what are you allowed to look at your full firing arc? That's what I'm doing. I use combat range rulers. So, uh, ah, oh, this is a big, big argument among people. I think it's fine in person. Uh, I mean, you, the, so you're allowed to measure to targets. The question is, the, the the debate comes if you don't have any obvious targets, what do you do? Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't care to be completely honest. It's gonna be personal preference for your TO. Yeah. A lot of times, especially if you're playing in a lot of tournaments, you'll get a feel for those TOs and how they call things and how they judge make yep. those decisions easier and more consistent. Cause in per here, here, here's, here's the thing. I, I think about the way I rule, um, digital X wing is how I would do in person. X wing is like, you can choose, even if you have a target at range one and it's obviously in range one, you can always use your range three stick to measure range. Okay. Always. So I guess my, my response would be as long as there was a target somewhere kind of near you then you're f you're fine but yeah as long as it's when you're within your arc would be fine <laughs> it was a real interesting thing uh when we had 360 degree arcs people were like oh i'm just going to measure in any direction yeah was that a 1.0 thing? I, I did not start playing in 1.0, so I believe I missed that shenanigan. Uh-oh. Sounds like my dog just ate some of my daughter's food. I hear I hear tears. I'm sorry, everybody. If you, if you hear, hear, a little, hear a little one. All right. Three hits coming in on the Ion Cannon. One evade has an evade token out there, makes it two. Gonna only be taking a damage, no ion. Four late on Leighton at all. But I think that's that's it, right? Yeah, yeah, that'll be it. That's all she wrote. All right, here we go. F in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> and we were talking about, uh, you know, naming. Oh, hold on. Let me let's get this let's attack here. Will you spend the focus? Yes. Jingar three here. hits. Will we see the Dengar trigger? Taking and both of them, yes. not spinning the calculates. Oh, no, the calculates on Thane. And Lando takes a damage there from the Dengar trigger. Yeah, the calculate is on Thane from the K2SO. Range two shot? Is it two? Yes. Just inside not of that third arc. Not obstructed. Has a calculate. Hit, hit, crit coming in to Boba. Don't need it. Ooh, Boba don't, don't like that. It. Ooh, no rerolls. Boba's turn to try to return some pain. Thane has no mods now, as well as Nora doesn't have any modifi modifiers. Modifiers. 
two hits. Uses the target lock on Thane. Target lock? He Not hit a crit. crit. Just one into Thane. It was through the cloud, so mm -hmm. there was that uh, that modifier there. Uh, so, Travi Bear, uh, make sure, uh, hopefully you remember our, um, uh, you can try posting that again, but uh, yeah, remember those, those chat rules. Thank you, mods. Only one shield taken from Thane. Should have a nomlum shot. Did he shoot? Uh, yeah, nomlum shot into um, into Lando. Ah. Uh. Thank you. Um, Devin, what what did Cece eat? She ate her hot dog. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Arwen said. The whole thing. Yes, the whole thing. The, hot, the whole <laughs> hot dog. F for hot dogs. <laughs> Mr. Cracker <laughs> says cannibalism. The dog ate the hot dog. Yes. <laughs> That's a. Uh, anytime I got my two dogs around, I've got to keep my, uh, my food on guard. My wife lets him get away with it. Um, uh -huh. But I am pretty stringent about not not sharing when I don't have to. That's right. All right, looking at the uh, positioning of the board here, Lando has plenty of space. Nomlom could try to get aggressive and try to go for a block, but the problem, of course, is the fact that the board edge is there. Uh, you don't you don't want to do anything with that. Maybe something crazy like a sloop, but I'm not even sure that reaches far enough for a block. We'll see. But there's the K2SO trigger. Can Namlam shoot sloop? Oh yeah, I think so, right? Unless unless Namlam Nom is getting stressed. To see Lando's dial here with the informant. That's right. Let me see what you got. Too hard. Should should block with the big base coming in. Which will will stop Lando's trigger from happening. All right. Takes the focus. Ooh. And Lando, like a glove, wow. baby. That's range one. Your name is Nom Lom. I'm going to Nom Nom on your face. Okay. <laughs> In there. Now, remember, Nom Lom will be able to turn that arc to the front, even though he's stressed at the moment. If he wants to get that shot because of how the, uh, the ability works there, it is just rotating the arc. It is not rotate action. And he has to if Lando mm -hmm. decides to shoot at him. It's a must. Looking at options for Lando's action. The three bank uh, becoming blue because of Nian crew and taking the target Such lock on the Nom Lom. Yeah, it's so good. Hello to the 150 people watching today. Welcome to Gold Squadron Flight Club. Is it anybody's first time watching Flight Club? Maybe you watched some of our events before and you're just tuning in for some of the fun? Let us know. So Lando taking the boost as an action. I'm kind of surprised by that. We'll see uh, what he intends to do here. Because, I mean, Nam Lam was going to get a shot anyway. Oh, it's kind of kind of kind of interesting. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, depending on what Boba, if you're get, banking on Boba doing like a bank instead of a hard maneuver. True. I guess the other reason is the other reason is you're preventing Nom Lom from jumping in front of Lando and becoming a blocker. So actually, yeah, that's great, great move there. Actually. Oh, Boba says hello. Oh. Takes a strain though. Takes that strain. 
Missing some shields already. And here we go. Mitchell, range one shot. Where is he going to go? He's got a couple of them. I'm kind of surprised he didn't uh, activate Thane first, see what you get on Boba Fett, and then, because um, he could have cleared the strain there and taken the better shot. All right, here's that range one shot. Four into one. Big potential for damage. Ooh, all right, there it is. And he's got the calculate. Yup. Three hits and a crit. Coming in hot. Hit, 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 and there's the crit. Disabled Ooh. power regulator. All right, couple of turns. Boba Fett will be ioned. Thane now. This is through the cloud. And remember, Thane's ability is live here, possibly. Two Ooh. hits. Yep. He can, he can spend, spend a, one a of focus, yeah. Spend one of the focuses, or he can just go for the, just go for the spend for four. He's gonna do it. Eh. Nice. <laughs> fuel oh, leak. Fuel leak. Go ahead and get that up there. Was able to avoid that. So of course there, you know, the fuel leak is pretty sweet, but you did see a weakness of uh, of Thane's ability is he gave up a, a potential damage for a fuel leak, which fuel leak is great, but only it's situational because if you don't roll any crits, then it doesn't end up doing anything in the damage race. But we'll we'll find out. We'll see. Yeah, could come back to to play a little bit later. Something you've got to take the time to either get rid of or. Oh, all right. We got that nice. Boba Fett reroll. Got the Force. That's not how the Force works. Yes, it is, <laughs> actually. Yes, it is. Lando taking all that damage. Taking all of it. Big, just big swings here. Just haymakers from both sides. All right. Not in Bullseye, so wouldn't get the fourth die from Auto Blaster. There we go. Ooh, just one. Is there any reroll potential out there? No. Got the evade. Nope. Nice. She's got it where it counts. And we are back to dial so right now alex ahead uh, sorry uh, behind now zero to 91 mitchell taking a commanding lead close to getting points though very close for half on lando thane has no more shields and nora nora's kind of just hanging out there so could turn it around in a turn or two mm -hmm. now wampa pattern ballness asking is there a way to submit a list so um, anybody can play on Flight Club. We do all kinds of different list building challenges. If you want to be part of the Flight Club, exclamation point, Flight Club, put that in the chat. Now, before we go too far, I want to remind you guys that this episode of Gold Squadron Flight Club is brought to you by QuadPrintYards.com. Go ahead, head there, use our coupon code FlightClub2020 to get that 10% off. Support Quad Print Yards and support the channel here. Uh, awesome 3D printed designs. My favorite, my favorite thing is their dial covers. They're super sweet. And we we'll actually will have Brian from the Quad Print Yards himself will be commentating live with me in the third game, and uh, we can chat him up about some of his designs, his ideas, and um, and we're gonna we're gonna get him to try to <laughs> we're gonna try to convince him to make some GSP dial covers, uh, helmets that we can uh, we can give away. All right, that's the plan. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> Gold Squadron helmets for everyone. Not that's for right. Everyone. 
Brian's in the chat. He says, sounds good. All right, that was that was super hey, easy to convince that was quick. That was really easy. All right, guys, give me another thing. It's something harder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, more Alpha Class Star Wing dial covers. There you go. Oh, that's a challenge. <laughs> also, can we go back to Wampa Pattern Baldness? What a great name. Just That's... <laughs> so solid. So what? what is the balding pattern of a Wampa? I don't think we've ever seen an old and balding wampa. They're just kind of furry and matted. All right, guys, they, think about they it. They have like hair care. <laughs> think about it. Let, 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 we got to come up with something. And Travi Bear, thank you so much for your sub. No problems for the help. All right, Nom Lom, bumping. Bump. And Lando saying, no, thank you. <laughs> Three straight. Clears the stress from the K2SO trigger. As a really good card on Lando because you're constantly doing blue maneuvers, just increasing that action efficiency. Mm. President Burr, thank you so much. Subscribe for a total of five months. You're awesome. Thank you. Thane just did a one forward, doing a little barrel roll action, getting ready to probably cut that uh, space between the two clouds and Nora doing exactly that on the right side of our board. Checking for target lock. Has Boba Fett in range. Weaken it in. Reach. Got it. Oh, Thane. There Same. we go. Here, here I am. Now he used the barrel roll action off of the Lando uh, ability, so he cannot barrel roll from behind that. Took an action. Boba bumping. Hmm. Okay. Boba might be in for some pain here. Do note that if Boba does survive this, he will be ionized next turn because of the disabled power regulator. Getting out into the blackness of space. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Taking shots. One of the actions for Lando was to rotate, so has a shot here. Range two going into Boba. Spends a calculate. Hit, hit, crit. crit. All right. Got two focuses. Going to check the range one bubble. Should have Thane. Mm -hmm. Yes. Gets a reroll. Looking for a squiggle here. Does not get it. Taking hit crit. Hit the fuel crit leak triggers. It. The fuel leak triggers. Mm -hmm. Hit. Hit. That is a structural oh. damage. And then the fuel leak trigger does another one. Oof. Are we down to two right now? Yes, we are down to two. Down to. Down to. And takes down the stress. Is it one? Oh, oh it's one. You're, you're right. Bad accounting. No, Here we go. No, he's got... Oh, he's got a hole breach. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, a hole upgrade. Uh, hole upgrade. Yeah. You lied to me, William. How dare That's you? A... <laughs> I missed it. I missed it. I called it out and I missed it. <laughs> Lead me down to dark side. Give another right. crit. Yep. He's got another... Flip that card. More... Oh, the thing gets to choose. Yeah, he gets to yeah. choose which oh, one. You look at man. them all, looking for the worst one. Flips the weapons failure. Weapons failure. Oh, Boba's so sad. I I think knowing you've got two crits there that you rolled, you flipped that uh, fuel leak over again. Doesn't got matter. Got the natties. Got the natties. And all the bad stuff on Boba Fett over there. And with that shot coming back in, that weapons failure could matter in the survival of Lando. Uh, two blanks. Uh... Miss. So, 
they roll too many dice there. I'm gonna go back and check looks that like, thing. Looks like they might have. Range one. Red player rolled three dice. Yep. All right. Uh, but up, but up, but up, but up, but up, but up. Quickly move past it. What? Ah, uh, crap! What happened? Did he roll an evade? Uh, um, yeah, he rolled three yeah. dice and rolled two evades off of it. Yeah. Uh, he uh. did roll a blank on the other one, so unless you would have him re-roll the two dice, he could say the gas cloud would make the blank. True. Back into an evade. It would be one. <sighs> Two blade, one blank. Uh, all right, hold on. Uh, we'll ask the players. Did these guys are they're, they're all pros. the way back in the dial face? Yeah, they are. Did they are screaming yeah. through this? <laughs> Roll too many on defense. Uh, they're just gonna roll two. Oh, oh all right. That hurts. <laughs> Boba, F Boba Fett re-roll. And uh, it would have been the same. Same result. We're yeah, fine. Yeah, Maul and yeah. Yep. Everything's fine. Oh, oh man. So we're good. Man, and I I understand in a premiere event you'd roll it back, like if nobody catches that. Unless, like, unless you're on stream and somebody's watching it, that's hard, especially yep. with how quick these guys were moving. Well, we talk about it all the time, right? Is the fact that um, we have to be cautious, and nobody's nobody's doing this right now. But I figured it's a great moment since we're all being very calm. But for people to wa who watch like later on YouTube or something like that, um, p players make mistakes in games all the time. We just like. When you see them on, on on a recorded game or something, it's magnified because it's recorded, right? And people may have missed it. But 99% of the time, things are honest mistakes because there's so many different things. If you really break down X-Wing, there are so many decisions in a single in a single game. And I don't, I'm not just talking about like game strategy decisions. I'm talking about like, oh, I have taken a stress. I must now reach for a stress token and place it. I have executed a blue maneuver. I must grab the stress. Like, so, there's so many things, so many that can be missed. And uh, I will tell you, as somebody who has played, played and seen people play from around the world, this is a consistent thing. People make mistakes. Give them the benefit of the doubt the first time. PSA over. Love you. Bam. Bam. And that's one of the reasons why when I play, I talk through everything. I talk through everything. Um, because I'm trying not to miss it. And even still, I miss stuff. <laughs> yeah. And and then you see people bring, like, the big three-ship, everybody's got upgrades, or two-ship, everybody's got upgrades. You're like, you're going to miss one or two of those every game. Oh, just yeah. Just because so much to, to keep track of. And for, for anybody who maybe hasn't played in a tournament... And they say like, oh, but I catch it every time when I watch games. It is a completely different situation. When you're watching, you don't have the decision fatigue that the uh, that the player has. You you are watching from a relaxed state where where your mind is not engaged in uh, in in the competition. It's a different mental state, which uh, which makes it easier, honestly, to notice some of these mistakes including like oh you could have triggered x or y or z or there was this opportunity that might seem obvious to you but sometimes the players miss it and that's that's part of the challenge of x-wing is trying to remember all those triggers and opportunities it's super cool i love it or even like positioning and, and steps you're taking on the board uh mm -hmm. i've had the pleasure of playing on stream a couple of times and going back and watch my game and like what like I do a maneuver and I'm looking at it I'm like what were you thinking? Like you had this here and you would have been in, the game changes completely. Mhm. Mm it's always All right. it's always good. One hit from Thane. He can spend the focus to uh, flip another card just for funsies. He knows what cards are over there cuz he's used the ability already. <laughs> Again, Thane does get to choose. There is a target lock out there. He's going to spend the target lock on both of those. Oh, gets nothing. Yeah, still gets to spend the to focus do Thane stuff. Thane being Thane. 
Flips the whole breach. So many cards. Giving Bo a bad time over here. And doesn't get anything there. Reroll. Re got re the squiggle. Avoids the damage. And he didn't have to spend any modifications. Here we go. And two blanks. There we go. We got two hits. Here comes the defense from Nom Lom. Excuse me, from Boba Fett. Reroll from Boba. Got the Ooh. double squiggles. Clutch. Always feels bad when you get the crits from downtown. Or the hits from downtown and they just reroll into natties. Like, alright. This is... Makes me feel good. Reroll. Lando. Yeah. That's three. That's good. Lom Lom has focuses. Ooh. They don't help that. Nope. Shield and a card. That is half points. Couple cards there. <laughs> yep, reminding him to spend the focus. Mm -hmm. like Boba should be Ion now, right? Boba. Uh. Now. No, this was his Ion maneuver. He did the Ion maneuver this turn. Or they just forget to flip the disable power regulator. Is that yeah? That's all. Okay. Ooh, Boba, hot fire, hit crit crit. Hot Going fire. into Thane. That's, That's all Thane hurt. wrote. Hit. Hit. Hit crit crit. Direct. Excuse me. There's a double damage. There it is. Hoof. But Thane taken out. Boba getting some vengeance there. Alex will not go quietly without a fight. But look at look at all that the the residual damage that Thane was able to do with his ability. I know that there's there's a lot of people who poke fun at Thane because he's I five and expensive and not Luke Skywalker. But uh, still, you know when uh, when you don't have the points for Luke, Thane is is he an answer? Will we see him Thane more in there. hyperspace? I I actually surprised Thane doesn't get used a lot more. That is such a a fun ability just. Cool, you've got a damage card. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna flip it up. I know you repaired it, but you're, it's coming back. And it, well, he can do it on a focus. So even if you don't have that mod, or like you, you target lock into another focus, you're like, cool. It's still gonna give me something. It's fun. I love it. Love it. Yeah, you know, there's also different reasons why people bring lists, right? So you, you mentioned that thing is a, is a fun ability. I would agree. Uh, there's definitely utility. The But the people who think about efficiency, right, that they're they're thinking like, I just want to have the, the best possible damage outcome. Thane's ability is so situational where, where, you know, the ideal situation is like, oh, look, I was able to flip a double damage. Boom, I just did extra damage. But... Then the opposite argument of that is like, well, what if I just didn't pay the points for that and you know was able to do more damage up front? Like, I get it. And someone who is that type of person where they're building more for efficiency, they're not going to take Thane. But someone who wants for the lulls or just the, the initiative five will do it as well. And there you go. Thank you. She's saying right there. The reason he's not meta is because he's not consistent. Correct. Yeah. Num Lom taking the strain. Oh, did we miss Boba roll four reds though? Did we miss another crit card here? No, he rolled three. Yeah, he rolled three. three yeah, it was hit crit crit. crit, crit.
Maui, wake up. <laughs> wake up. You're leading me down a path I cannot follow. All right, so we got Nora doing a little shimmy shimmy here to the left. Honestly, the uh, the oh oh the the barrel roll there was from um, was from Lando's ability. One banking, getting the ion turret on, rolls a blank through the cloud, so no strain. Very nice. Expert handling coming into play on the Y wing there. That's right. So no stress. Boba Fett doing the Talon. And the Taking Talon... The contraband. The, the, contraband, contraband, contraband. The, um... The Talon roll there just reminds me... I think the story of this game is the fact that Boba Fett, uh, in that opening, leading... Uh, attempting to lead Mitchell down the path, and Mitchell did not, did not bite. So, uh, being out of the fight definitely hurt, and I think that is the reason why he's so far behind... Right now we got 20, 23 minutes left. Also, I have gotten a delivery from Mrs. Gold Squadron. My my present has been delivered uh, that I got from my my, my fa one of my favorites here. I'll show it off in the break. All right, this is just barely range two going into Nam Lam. Spend the calculate. That's three. Two more cards. Three more cards. Big damage. And Nom Lom is down to one. Nora is, is going to try to try to finish that off range one. You use the ion cannon turret because he gets you four dice. You're just trying to get one damage through. Oof. Okay. And that's going to do it. it. Not yet. Now he did yours. Rolls the crit off of the Dengar trigger. <laughs> Takes an extra damage on the way out for Nora. And right, the crit triggers it. There should be a another damage on no. Oh, she had a shield. Sorry, bank. Yep. So yep. they did do Took that. Took the last shield off. And now it's Boba, Boba Fett versus the rest of the rebellion. Wow, Mr. Rocker Crocker in the chat trolling me. A peanut butter and pickle sandwich. How dare you! How dare you? You guys know I hate pickles. Is that a, I was to say, is that a thing? A peanut butter and pickle sandwich? Well, I mean, on this uh, on this channel, apparently it is because everybody has discovered that like my very strong hate of pickles is not dislike. I hate pickles. <laughs> like pickles can leave me lead me down the dark side. That's how much. <laughs> like that choice, that choice of peanut butter and pickle, like that. I don't know. That mm -hmm. doesn't that doesn't make sense. Like it should be a combination. You're not wrong, William. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Pickles still love me. Mm. Well, you know, do I? I'm sure most of you. Um, like I remember the first time I. Or, or, I remember. I have a memory of my mother saying to me one time, I said something along the lines of, I hate X. And my mother saying, Dion, don't use that word. Hate is a strong word. You could say that you strongly dislike something, but don't say that you hate it. Um, and now in my adulthood, uh, <laughs> Mom, no, I hate pickles. Hate. Okay? I don't strongly dislike. <laughs> We're not having a, a small cr cr kerfuffle. Hate. really don't like pickles. No, pickles are okay. 
Crazy Vulcan. Oh, you had one of those. (laughs) (laughs) We actually raided my mom's uh, stream one time. She does, uh, on Facebook, she does crafts and does, like, crafting streams. She was wholesome. Yeah. She was very delighted for everybody who was a part of that. Was anybody here part of that? It was was super cute. All right. Range three shot from Nora. Trying to put Boba in the coffin. Nothing. Never mind. Did she read Goodnight Moon? Oh, she didn't. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Spending the target lock. One you... hit. Oh. Boba's fine. He's okay. Guess we gotta. I guess we gotta raid the mom again and get her to read Goodnight Moon to us. Yeah, Def, Defro, Denfro says, I especially, especially like the spot where she said, GPS, you're right. I was like, oh, my mother disrespected <laughs> my channel. <laughs> Oof. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Another target lock. Oh, Bam. Rip, rip. Come on. Hey. Knock, got Knock. this. Got it with the focus. I will say that's since since you've started doing that, the rating into other people playing X Wing or playing Star Wars, uh, seeing some of the reaction and the surprise from those people, just as like three hundred people come in and like I've never had this many people in my room before, <laughs> like people have to stop playing games and they're like this is incredible. It's good. It's fun and it's it's awesome that we can try to bring other people into our game that way. That's right. <laughs> We raid people to try to increase the X-Wing fan base. Like, what is X-Wing? And all you got to do is, is get get it, let them know that the game exists. You know, they might not jump on the train right away. But now now they know that the X-Wing exists. They're like, hmm, they'll talk to somebody about it. It's it's those subtle tactics. And, yes, we're, we are going to do it again today. Yes. We're going to do it again. And it, or it's that thing, like, because uh, the first time I saw X-Wing was actually at a Gen Con event. Uh, Armada had my interest a little bit more just because I didn't have to pay for it and I could just test it on the table. Uh, right. But like you see it. It's, now somebody has physically planted that seed. So it's like, cool, they're going to see it in a game store. They're going to walk in to buy a new board game or something. Like, oh, wait a minute. This is what these guys were talking about. It's a real thing. Mm-hmm. Might, might look at picking up a ship or two. That's right. So we'll we'll see who who is our victim. Are they a victim? I don't know. I don't know what the word is, but <laughs> who will be the benefactor of our of our raid later on? Again, that'll be after the third game. Uh, by the way, we're doing a giveaway after uh, after this round. So everybody who's joining us right now got a little, little giveaway action. We love giving stuff away here on GSP. Thank you so much for everybody watching. So this is probably – we got like two turns. You know, I, I find it interesting that Mitchell took Lando away um, just because having the concentrated guns seems good. Obviously, Nora has a defensive ability. In, in, a, in a Swiss tournament setup, okay, in a Swiss tournament setup, the idea of holding on to Lando for points is great. Right, because you want to try to carry that MOV over, uh, and Nora should be able to finish the job. But I mean, in in a one-off, I think you go for it. I think you just smack them around. You you take both shots into there, and be happy with it. But Mitchell playing the safe game, I like it. It is very good, sound strategy. Love it. It's one of those things that, that, like, you get down to it. Like I, I enjoy just playing to the to the timer until full destruction. It's, it's mm-hmm. hard to think about, especially when you look at it, you're like, okay, he's down to one ship. I've got 15 minutes. I'm going to run away with this one or not doing it like that. You just try to think about it like that's a long time. That is a long time to try to play safe and just hide on the board edge. Yep. All right. Here we go. Nora taking the target lock has the calculate from K2SO. Big move here. Boba. Three bank should be able to boost out of the arc. Oh, Boba doing Boba things there. Hey, I'm an ace too. <laughs> All right, and we are at dials. One thing I want to do once Twitch, you know, allows us to um, to to get that Twitch partnership. 
Um, I, I, there's definitely some streaming ideas I have that are a little bit non-traditional. And uh, as you guys know, I, I compose music and stuff like that. I think it would be really fun with you guys in the chat to write some music together. I have some, some ways for us to do it quickly. And uh, we can write some Star Wars-ish music together, have some funsies. It'd take a couple hours, but I think it'd be a fun experience. Uh, I actually was working on, on, a, on like a, a script outline for how that would work on stream. Kind of excited about it. It could be fun. Would you guys yeah, be interested in that? Writing music with a bunch of... What were you going to say, William? Go ahead. A bunch of random people. I was going to say, writing music with a bunch of random people in a, in a chat room, that's uh, like Twitch plays Pokemon level of patience. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, there's some... There would be some polls involved. Uh, you know, just some... Uh, some like questions like do we do a or b do we do you like this idea or that idea you know there's some uh, some interesting thing like we can't go you know one note at a time you know that 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 would take forever but uh i think i think it could be fun all right lando did clip the uh the the strain cloud there gonna take one Sounds like Obi Wan seventy seven is is down to write some music. He seems excited for that. That'll be a good one. Definitely tune in and pay attention to that night. I mean, Jeez, I've written. I have a. Music. I have a piece already that I've showed you guys that I wrote for the channel. Actually, was working on it a little bit, extending it. The next part worked on that earlier too. It's good. It's good, man. You put together some good stuff there. Thank you. All right, Talon Roll, Boba Fett choosing violence. Let's go. Turnaround moves on turnaround moves. We do have the structural damage on Boba when that becomes a thing. And the whole breach. So one crit could. <laughs> exactly. One, one crit could do it. One crit could do it. Nora from downtown. Only one hit. Boba has the force. Doesn't need it. <laughs> Boba Fett nice. uses it. Two hits and a crit. Oh, Nora. No. Fs. Two. And that is a damage engine. This is, the, this is how it happens. This is the comeback. Uh, -dup -dup -dup, and she is down to. Does she have a hole upgrade. She does. So all right, we're good. She down does. four hole. So crazy Vulcan said, any suggestions for a free cheap software? So what the what what we would be doing? Um, there's a couple of different ways you can go about it. All right. So if you're just trying to write, if you're trying to write like notes. So here with my students, when we work on a composition unit i don't even have them worry about notes like that is the least important thing when it comes to uh like starting composition it's just about kind of getting ideas out there uh, at first and seeing what you like and what you don't like as a as a writer so i really like uh starting with loops and different pre um, pre-existing sounds and putting them together just to kind of get your style uh, something like GarageBand, if you have that on an Apple device, is a great, honestly, a great way to start composition. I know some people look at it and go, really? Something that simple? Yes, that's a great way to start. Then you can start taking individual instruments and, and putting in notes in there. It has some borderline, um, like, music theory teaching in there because it has, uh, you can, like, stick to a certain key signature. Basically, notes that sound good in a certain set of... Uh, of, of sounds together so that's a great way to start um if you don't have that there isn't really a mac equivalent to GarageBand, but there is uh, a couple online versions that are good uh, there's something called soundtrap there's also band labs that does the same thing so that's where i would start for anybody starting out yeah 
did you could go simple with gas cloud. Gas cloud. Om nom nom. So it does get the focus from its ability. Check out no flight. Oh yeah, I mean yeah, that's that is for. I was talking about not writing notes. Yeah, if, but I usually don't start there because if people don't know how to <laughs> how to read music, um, writing writing on a staff doesn't quite. Uh, I guess if you just write in C major. But yeah, if you want to start doing note writing, note flight is a great way to start. You get ten, I think it's a ten free, like scores you can start, which is great for a beginner. All right, here we go. Two crits. It is through the cloud. Ooh, big hits. And we're fine. He's safe. And range one from Nora. Mitchell just try, trying to put away Boba Fett. <laughs> Even if you don't mod it, you know you got the one damage coming through here. Yep. Nope, target lock. All right, Ooh. and just going for the going for the guarantee and at least one ion. What? Damage, I did mention Sandra. Yes. Oh, because he has because the structural damage. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. So down to one. Too many eyeballs. Uh, the single reroll doesn't net a hit. Nora adds one. There it is. Nora being Ooh. Nora. Nora. Such a good, awesome efficiency. My fellow music educators in the chat, I know uh, Buffaloficus is a music teacher. Grim Wolf. Three kidnapped me as a music teacher as well, if I'm not mistaken. Music teachers, what's up? I know we got actually quite a few just like teachers in general as well. I mean, that happens. <laughs> They're out there. Did you know we're real people? You guys have hobbies? Yeah, I know it's crazy. So actually, you know, a little little bit of uh, of story time here with Dion. Um, so this year I have an advisory, so like a group of students that are not in my orchestra, but they're like kids I check in with uh, with every day. And um, one of, one of them was being really cagey. And we were like, "Oh, what did you do this weekend?" They were like, "Oh, I went to this store and bought like this game." And with the the area where my school is is by the game store pastimes where uh where we play when we're in person so they stopped by and got some stuff and um like he was being he was I, I don't know if he was being embarrassed or thought like nobody would know what pastimes was and i was like oh uh, did you go to pastimes he goes he's like he like lit up he was like yeah past how do you know about pastimes and i was like oh wait I, i've opened the door um i play games there too <laughs> just i just left it at that <laughs> It was interesting. That's good. Never, you never know what people do on the offside, off time mm -hmm. of things. And I mean, I remember. Uh, tell me, William, you ever had that experience with a uh, with a teacher where where you saw them in the wild as a, as a kid and and just like had a confusing moment, like, wait, why aren't you at school? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, because I think every time I, I grew up in a very small town in the south, uh, so it's like when you would see people outside of school, you knew, like, cool, this is, like, we're both not at school, it's a weekend. So it's, What's up, it's Teach? It's a little different, but I can imagine, like, being in a big city like Chicago or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seeing somebody outside of school, you're like, whoa, small town. All right, so... Nora moved in there for the block. We'll see the ion maneuver here. Lando setting up the kill shot. T 
target lock focus. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, range one. Four dice. Prepare your Fs. And there it is. Yep. Rip Big Boba. Fs. Hit, hit, crit. And all the cards. Get that. That last shot. Boba, try, try, trying to end with some points. My dignity. My bounty. Rerolled. Got the squiggle. Only two. <laughs> all right. Well, congratulations hole. to Mitchell getting the dub. Let me let them know. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Bam. And William, thank you so much for hanging out with me on commentary today. Hey, thanks for having me again. Uh, I love love what you're doing with the show. It's great fun. Hope you have a good night. <laughs> All right. Let me go. I'm going to go say hi to the players for, for a second. How's it going, guys? Just want to say hi real quick. Yeah, our dice were both bad. <laughs> <laughs> Stop being yeah, so bad. Yeah, fair enough.